Hey everyone, this is Brandon's Movie Corner, and it's time for a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for December 1st, 2021. In this update, I'm going to show three VHS tapes, 15 DVDs, and three Blu-rays that I've gotten over the past week. And we're going to start off the three VHSs, which I got all of these from eBay. And the first two I ordered on... November 21st, and I received them on Saturday, November 27th, and here they are. Starting with the Warner Home Video 80s clamshell. Got the big W1 reveal logo engraved inside, and the case is not in the best condition, unfortunately, but that's all right. And if you look on the label, it says rated PG, but this movie is actually rated R. And it's a former rental from an unknown video store. I can tell there's a blue sticker of the print date underneath the end label, but I'm not going to peel it back. And then the other tape that came on Saturday is a Neon Mickey tape, and I won this as a bid auction. Birthday is October 22nd, 1984. And then the last VHS and the only one in the slip cover, this is an extremely rare tape. I ordered this on November 23rd and I received it on Monday, November 29th. And here it is. An episode sampler VHS of Buzz Lightyear of Star Command featuring the episode Planet of the Lost. And apparently this VHS was bundled with a Buzz Lightyear action figure. And I had to pay a total of $46.04 for this one tape. Yeah, the, list, the price it was listed at was $39.99, but with the shipping and sales tax added on, the total came to $46.04. And I got to give thanks to Arbuckle Productions for telling me that this tape was available for sale on eBay. So I decided to go ahead and buy it. And it says not for resale. And this has the ink label, blue lid, and the black reels. The print date is November 15th, 2003. Yep. And in the near future, I'm going to plan on ripping this full tape and uploading it to Google Drive, so I will provide a link once it's uploaded. So be on the lookout for that. And before I start showing the DVDs, I'm going to let Oreo out of the room quickly. Okay. And... On Monday, November 22nd, I got 13 DVDs at Dollar Tree, and with the exception of one, with the exception of one, which is Universal, all the rest of them are from MGM, and they're all 2021 reprints. So, yep, I scored a bunch of them that day.
Now here's the only DVD I got at Dollar Tree on November 22nd that is not from MGM. This one is from Universal, like I said. Even though this is a 2016 re-release, the DVD itself is from 2011. And now here's the last DVD that I got at Dollar Tree. You know, I was surprised to find a bunch of these MGM reprint titles. And now the final two DVDs I'm going to show in this update I got at Walmart yesterday. And these were both in the $5 DVD bin. This is my first and so far only DVD from Palm Pictures. And here's the last DVD for the update. And now on to the three Blu-rays, which the first two I also got at Walmart yesterday. I've already used the Disney Movie Insiders code. I saw this movie in theaters and it was awesome. I saw it in theaters on August 5th, which was the night it opened.
There's the code if anyone wants it, as usual. And now the last Blu-ray, I received this from barnesnoble.com on November 24th, last Wednesday. And this is a Criterion Collection Blu-ray, which I pre-ordered on October 29th, which was the day the Barnes Noble sale started. And it was released on November 23rd, and I received it the day after it was released. I also have the original Blu-ray of Uncut Gems, but I decided to get the Criterion release as well. Spine number is 1101. And this is one of two movies starring Adam Sandler that was released in the Criterion Collection. The other one being Punch Drunk Love, which I do want to get the Criterion release of that one day. Although I do have that movie on VHS. And for those of you who are wondering, I'm still going to keep the original Blu-ray of Uncut Gems as well, since that one has a different cover art. And I'm going to quickly flip through this booklet for you guys. Yeah. And that's going to do it for this VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for December 1st, 2021. Thank you all for watching. This is Brains Movie Corner signing off.